Hello, it's Rob from Season Your Food, Spice Up Your Life. And today we are going to make a keto, low carb, sour cream chicken enchilada bake. So I'm super excited to share this with you. I've been um, marinating on this idea for a couple days, so I'm gonna put it into action and it's gonna be awesome. But first, I wanna introduce y'all to a product that I love. Um, tequila, if as long as it's a uh, pure silver agave, has no carbs. And I found this awesome light margarita mix at Kroger. And you can kind of see here on the back, it only has two carbs for every four ounces and there's no sugar. So it's a pretty good way to have a margarita and not feel guilty. Okay, so this is gonna be awesome. This is gonna be an awesome recipe for you because you can make this in under 30 minutes. I went and got a rotisserie chicken so that I didn't have to cook the chicken. So I just cut that up as well as some chicken broth. I have some tomatoes, onion, cilantro, green onions, sour cream, a can of green chilies, butter. Um, I shredded my own Monterey Jack cheese. This is my homemade taco seasoning. I had no idea that regular taco seasoning had flour in it and all these crazy ingredients. So. It actually has carbs and this does not, so that's awesome. And then this is my new best friend. These uh, carb balanced flour mission tortillas. There's only four net carbs per tortilla, which is amazing. I've also taken these and popped them in the air fryer with some avocado oil cooking spray and made my own chips, so it's awesome. So, all right, we're gonna put this together. Okay, so I went ahead and preheated my oven to 400 degrees. I put a couple tablespoons of coconut cooking oil in this hot skillet, and we're gonna add our onion. This is just one medium onion that I cut up. And we're gonna saute that for about three minutes. Okay, I'm gonna add in half of the four ounce can of green chilies, just to get these heated up. Throw those around, release that flavor. And then I'm gonna go ahead and add in the tablespoon of the homemade taco sauce that I made. And then we're gonna toss in the chicken. I'm just gonna heat this up for a couple minutes. Get it nice and incorporated. I'm gonna go ahead and add some salt to this mixture to get some extra moisture released from the food. Salt, as you cook, it brings out the moisture content in all of your food. All right, we've just stir fried this for a couple of minutes and it looks awesome. The Seasoning has all soaked into the chicken and the onion and the green chili, some salt. This looks great. All right, you can see this butter. This is a fourth of a cup of unsalted butter. It's starting to get frothy, it's bubbly. So we're going to slowly whisk in the chicken broth. This is a 15 ounce can of chicken broth. All right, we're gonna go ahead and bring that up to a boil. Okay, so we went ahead and brought that up to a boil and we're gonna um, remove the heat and turn it off. Now we're gonna let that cool for just a second and we're gonna fold in the sour cream. I'm gonna slowly stir that in to thicken this all up. Add the rest of that in, and then I'm gonna use a whisk to thicken this up. Even it out. All right, I'm gonna add a, a half a teaspoon of xanthan gum to thicken this up.
Okay, I went and got, ahead and got a large casserole dish out. I sprayed it down with some Pam avocado oil. And now I'm gonna put some of that sour cream sauce just on the bottom of this so that we can have that on the base. Okay, next we're gonna assemble the enchiladas. We're gonna start off with a little bit of cheese, the Monterey Jack, and then we're gonna add in some of the chicken mixture. And then we're just gonna roll them up. And then I'm gonna place them seam side down in the pan. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and top off all of the completed enchiladas with some of the sour cream sauce. We're gonna top them all off there. Perfect. Okay, so we're gonna use the remaining amount of uh, Monterey Jack cheese and we're gonna top this off so we can put it in the oven. You can use whatever cheese that you want. I love Monterey Jack cheese, so we're gonna top all this off with that. I freshly grated one block of cheese um, I find that the freshly grated melts a lot better than the pre-shredded. All right, we're gonna pop this in the oven for 20 minutes. Okay, and we're back. So I just took these out of the oven. Bubbly, beautiful, cheesy goodness. Looks awesome. I have a couple things over here that you could top them with as garnish. I have some tomatoes that are freshly chopped, green onion, and some cilantro. You can also do lettuce, whatever you wanna do, pico de gallo some more green chilies, whatever you want to do, but these look great. 